Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with what to expect with the new Moto X. So the Motorola X phone has been leaked and rumored and hyped for months now, so let's take a look at what could be one of the coolest phones of this year. First of all, we have a leaked video from the Canadian carrier Rogers, which goes over in quite a bit of detail about the new Moto X. The phone is running stock Android just like a Nexus. Now to me it looks like this is probably Android 4.3 as there are quite a few new features. It looks like Google Now will be always on and listening, which is a little bit creepy when you think about it, but it's going to be working just like how Google Glass does. So even if your phone is locked, all you need to do is say, OK Google Now, it will unlock and open Google Now, and then you can ask it whatever question you want. The Moto X also ditches the notification LED, instead having your notifications quietly pop up on screen. The camera app has also been updated, so you can launch it by simply flicking your wrist, and once you get in there, it seems to be much more simple and easy to use. Now when we're talking about the Moto X, something to keep in mind is that this is the first real Motorola phone that's come out since Google took over. Now if you take a look at the last Google phone, the Nexus 4, this was a very high-end phone that only cost about $300 off contract, about half as much as other phones like the Galaxy S3 and the iPhone 5. The way I see it, the Moto X is an evolution of that, as it actually won't be a super high-end flagship. To be totally honest, what's the point? Pretty much every single company has some very expensive phone that's very high-end, whereas this can be something unique. Instead, it will have more mid-range specs, with a 4.7 inch 720p screen, a dual core Snapdragon processor, LTE support, as well as a 10 megapixel camera. That might not sound that amazing, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Moto X is closer to $200 off contract. Now again, other phones like the HTC One, the Galaxy S4, the iPhone 5, all of these are $600 and above, so this could be a really big deal. It's also going to be customizable and built in the US. So that means you'll be able to change the color of the phone, as well as even get some engraving on it if you'd like. The Moto X should be launching in August worldwide, which means it's only about a month or so away, and it will be launching on pretty much all the major carriers, including AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, and T-Mobile here in the US. So what do you think of the Moto X? Between phones like this and the new cheaper iPhone, I'm really glad to see companies focusing on making cheaper phones, which are still just as good, if not better, as some of the super expensive high-end flagships. But definitely be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're interested in more, be sure to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube to catch the full review of the Moto X as soon as it comes out. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.